and the topic today is uh, why I'm getting plastic surgery. I stop. I swap. Whoa, whoa, baby, poke it out, poke it out, poke it out, whoa, baby, poke it out, poke it out, poke it out. I'm getting a breast reduction. I'm not getting anything put in, but. It's still considered plastic surgery so i told myself that i was going to put these videos out there for like you know educational purposes and for anybody that's like trying to do it because like research is key with this and there are a good amount of breast reduction videos on youtube i'm not gonna lie there, there are a good amount but some of them don't show everything and they don't tell everything so I'm trying to be really informative, especially if you're trying to go through your insurance to get it because that's the route that I'm taking. So if you're in a similar situation like mine in the state of New York, um, I got some tips for you that can help you get approved. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So we're going to start in 2015. So it, so it was 2015. Um, I was still in high school. Like, I honestly don't know what I was in the nurse's office for. I don't even know it. I don't even think it had anything to do with my breast or getting a breast reduction. Whatever the case was, the topic came up. She's like, um, have you ever looked into getting a breast reduction? And I'm like, uh, I don't remember if I had thought about it yet or not. So I don't remember what I told her. And it was like such a random conversation. Like, there wasn't anything planned. So anyway, she brought it to my attention. She wrote me a referral for a surgeon. She told me that one of her other students went there and they got approved for it. They were happy with their result. And I'm like, cool. She wrote me a referral for a surgeon and I made an appointment for a consultation. I did the consultation. It was a lot like the consultation that I just had for my actual surgeon. You take your brow off and then they take pictures to send to your insurance policy. I don't know if they do it if you're not going through insurance, but they took pictures of me because they had to send it to my insurance. That was them building a case. About two weeks later, they, I did get a letter in the mail and I got denied. The letter basically said that, you know, we decided to deny you for your surgery because of your weight. Like basically they were saying I could lose weight and I'll lose my breasts. Keep in mind, I've had big breasts ever since I could remember, bro. In fifth grade, people knew me for having titties. You feel me? I've always had big breasts. Anyway, they denied me. I was young. Imagine being in high school, and then it was something that I was like, you know what? I just gotta live with it. You feel me? Like, fuck it, I just gotta live with it. Then this nurse bringing it to my attention that I could actually do something about it and my insurance could actually pay for it for me. And they dubbed my shit. Like, they dubbed my shit. Yeah, they denied my shit. That was that. I was like sad for a little while. And then I just was like, ever since then, I've been doing my research on breast reductions and really wanting to do it. Keep in mind, this is 2015. I got pregnant in 2015, so it happened so quick. So, you know, that was out the window for at least nine months. That was, it had to be out the window, so I wasn't focusing on it anymore. I had my kid in 2016. When you have a kid, you produce milk, your breasts get filled up with milk. As soon as you're done breastfeeding and most of the milk is gone, you deflate, basically. They were so big, they would get hard if I didn't pump, they were sore, they would leak they would do all of that you go through so many changes with your body so my breasts were already big they had gotten so much bigger and then once that stage was over they just deflated they sag you can't tell because you know i got a bra on but um i do have a before and after video that i'm putting together and you'll see it there i took my brow off and i'm showing it to you i'm sure i'm gonna show y'all so that really like made me start being insecure and not that insecure. And then um, I want to say like last year, 2018, 
is when I really set my mind on a weight loss journey and getting my breast reduction and specifically getting approved for my breast reduction. I'm like, yo, this is one thing that I'm not gonna pay for because my insurance could pay for it. I have medical issues. I moved and my back problems, that's when I really noticed my back problems killing me. So I bought a whole new mattress, a better one, a more comfortable one, a fluffier one, like it was thicker and taller and stuff. I did that and it did it did help me. It took my pain from excruciating to moderate. It's it's moderate right now. It's not that bad. But at that point in the summer of 2017 is when I was like, nah, I'm getting this breast reduction and I am gonna start my weight loss journey. Like, you feel me? So that's what I did. And all of those 45 pounds. And I made sure that I did not go for my consultation until then. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a little bit more calm in this video. Trying not to curse as much. Damn, shiny as shit. So yeah, I was with someone who like never made me feel insecure about my body or anything. But it was just something that I personally was not comfortable with. And a lot of people don't understand that. When you get plastic surgery, they just be on some, oh, she, like, like they, they think you're trying to do it to make society fuck with you. I don't care who fuck with me or don't fuck with me. I scoop niggas either way you put it. That's not the point. You feel me? I, you have to be, like, okay with yourself no matter what other people think. Other people could be like, yo, why you want to get it? You look dumb good. Or, you know, your titties are mad big. I wish I had big titties. And it's, 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 that's not what I want. You have to do what you want. You got to do what makes you happy. You, you feel me? Like, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. That's basically why I'm getting a breast reduction. So let me talk about RealSelf.com. RealSelf.com is a website that women or anyone goes to surgeons are on there specifically people that have plastic surgery go on there they share their story they share pictures they share their doctor their experiences and ain't nobody getting paid to share it so the reviews on there for the most part are real precise and honest and you can trust it it's a real good website that a lot of people know about but i'm not sure who doesn't so here it is realself.com do your research i i encourage everybody to do in-depth research every other day i go on youtube i type in breast reduction vlog or breast reduction story breast reduction surgery breast reduction consultation so you guys can see like you know how the process works and stuff like that you can search it you can type in getting approved for breast reduction i did a lot of that and there's doctors on here that give a lot of advice on how to get approved by your insurance and let me talk a little bit about how to get approved because in my in my story time i told you guys that the type of surgeon that i have i didn't really have to do much I didn't really have to go through my um, insurance company personally, but you can. And when you do that, it increases your chances of them approving you. So what you want to do is start going to the emergency room, complain about your back, excruciating pain, like tell them you're in excruciating pain. Like, you feel me? Let them prescribe you something, even if you don't use it, or even if you really do need to use it. Um, do that. Like, you, you have to have, you have to start having your own documents that you're really having these back issues and you're trying to fix it. Go to physical therapy for at least three to six months. They, this, all of this stuff is what I had looked up online and I started taking these actions myself. Now, luckily, I got the type of surgeon that I didn't need. But if you can take advantage of that, do that. I don't know how it is in other states, but you can do that for like at least three months. If you're over, if you're overweight, work on um, losing weight at least 20 pounds so that your insurance company sees that you're, you're trying to lose weight. You feel me? Your your primary care doctor, you can go to them, complain about your back, let them let them 
write you a referral to to a surgeon you don't have to go but just to have that on file like you just start doc you start having your case on file it was like all of that really really helps it really does help and you can even write them a letter oh yeah i knew i was forgetting to say something you could write them a letter i started getting to typing you hear me tell them how it's been how how it um has affected you throughout your life you could tell them a that one long story that both um you couldn't fit your prom dress or something like that like you really gotta you really gotta like finesse you feel me and do what you gotta do if you want to get approved for your surgery like i said luckily i didn't have to do all of that thank god but i think for me my weight loss played a big part in that i, I feel like i'm being pretty open with y'all and like i'm giving a lot of good advice if i am then you know you can like this video i don't be coming on here asking for likes and comments and stuff like that but i mean you guys are here i'm spilling tea for y'all so you can give me a thumbs up if you want i mean don't give me no thumbs down though <laughs> And you could comment any questions that you guys might have and subscribe if you want to continue watching my video when you see this i will have exactly two weeks for my surgery facts i'm gonna bring y'all with bring y'all with me on my consultation again i'm gonna try to get like more footage and make it a more spicy video so anyway thank you for watching like i said like comment and subscribe if you want and that's it i stop i swap whoa whoa baby poke it out poke it out poke it out baby poke it out poke it out poke it out